Hello everybody and welcome to week 10. So last week you were to choose Pathos Logos or Ethos and decide which one you felt had the most appeal as you looked at the electric chair and you read the article. This week we're going to learn how to bring in the opposing view and how to refute it. But before we get there, look at the object, uh, the objectives, the outcomes, the checklist, the overview video is there. I'm also going to put it with the discussion boards. Homework assignments, there are three. We call them homework, even though it's all homework. And then there are three quizzes. This one here especially I would really pay attention to because it's you've been most of you have been writing really well using formal no you, no we, unless you're talking about an example of my family and I, we, but don't use we and you as in general when you mean something specific. Like for example, uh when we go to class, no, not we, when students go to class, you always want to be concise. Don't be informal because then you use your, then you lose your ethos, your credibility. It's like being in an interview. You want to speak more formally than you would with your friends. Okay. So the discussion board this week, again, you will only see yours. This is where your refuting is going to take place. Here are two videos. I'm going to click on them. You've seen them before, but I highly recommend them. So Logos, Ethos, and Pathos. And then here's the argumented, argumentation essay structure. If you go through, it also has the refuting at the end. So, and remember, at the, the end of this semester, all we're doing is argument, argumentative writing. We're going to bring in who we think is the best, and then we'll bring in an opposing view who, where someone else thinks they, their idea is the best. So, and remember, argumentation is not really arguing or being rude. It's just being giving both sides of the story, which gives us more credibility, more ethos. So I'm going to come down here and click on the prompt. So this prompt, go ahead and read it. It's really in-depth. I'm going to go over what I want you to do here. I have the argumentative essay model and phrases here. So how you set up, how you can refute. And then just look through all of this. But what I'm going to do is I gave you an example, and as I go through my example, you'll see what I'm looking for for yours. So let me open this up. Sorry about this. It's coming. My internet is really slow. I'm up in my loft at home, and I'm on a, uh, what do you call it? Air. I can't think of the word. A mo Not a modem, but, oh, man, guys. Okay. Yes, I do teach online, but I can't think of the term right now. Rotor. I guess that's what it is. All right, what happened to my paper? Oh, here it is. It's still opening. Sorry, I'm trying to kill time. All right. So while it's opening, you'll notice Kevin's example of refuting pathos. So I must have chosen pathos as last week's, the most appealing. So let me, I'm going to enable editing. I'm going to make this larger so we can see it well beautiful page oh, sorry guys I don't know why my computer is being so slow view page width here we go so again this is the initial post so it has to be done in a formal manner my name professor awesome English blah blah in opposing paragraph pathos prevails over logos so all, I chose pathos last week. So I think pathos is the number one appeal from the electric chair. However, there are others who will think that logos or ethos has more of the appeal. So I chose pathos as my pro, and then others, I chose logos as the second best, which will be my con, which will be my opposing. So the opposing topic sentence. Opposing views claim that this ACLU advertisement plays more on logos than it does pathos. So opposing views claim, so I'm clear. Ah, some people think that logos is better than pathos. Then they're going to give evidence for logos. They claim that logos or facts will always be more powerful than pathos. Then they're giving an example. And then it comes from page 551 because there's only one page in this article. Okay. And then acknowledge the, val the valid points. Admittedly, this statement is based on facts on logos that have been proven in this ad. So you want to acknowledge, sometimes you're going to have to say that, you know, they're better. 
in this circumstance, Logos is better than Pathos or it's stronger than Pathos. But you should always admit or give in to that a little bit. And then you want to counter the argument. And you say, however, the picture of the man sitting in the electric chill is still both scary and depressing, which is Pathos for sure. Now you're spinning it back. You're coming back to yourself. So you're refuting. You're refuting their premise. Logos is not the strongest. Pathos is. Okay. This is tantamount to trying to not, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then you introduce a conclusion. Ultimately, pathos is stronger than logos. Again, pathos is my, that's what I believe, than logos. So I'm spinning it back. I'm ending it on my, my side, my pro, which was pathos. So follow this example. And I'm telling you, make a copy of this. And if you're going to English 201, use this. I know you'll be writing essays, this is just a paragraph, but it's the same setup. And you'll see that because you'll be using this format in the essays that we write for the remainder of the semester. And here's my work cited. Okay, everything here, blah, 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 good, page 51. Notice that I have the hanging indent. And uh, now what I didn't do here is, which I should have, is I should have introduced it, but we did it last week, but I want to be formal here, so I should say, in the AC or the American Civil Liberties Union's article, and they give a shortened version of it, Opposing Views Claim. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you put the title, the author, and the title of the article. And remember, this article is long, so just use Thanks to Modern Science. Let's set the stage for our readers. My example, I was weak on that, so I should get the author, shortened version of the article, and then go into it. And notice that I can use ACLU after I give the full title up here. All right, I'm going to get out of here. So follow my example, you'll do well. And then just look through this. It's not that hard. Just go through it. The deadlines are the normal. So you're going to paste this into here by Wednesday night and then into the initial post as well so I can grade it there. Okay, I think this is pretty good. If you have any questions, let me know. And remember, try really well on this because the rest of the semester is going to be, I believe this, but others believe this. They are right here, here, and here. However, my point is stronger because that's what we're doing. Alrighty. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye.